Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, and we'd like to welcome those who are Beartooth fans to our channel, because I assume, Nathan, I assume 95% of the people watching this video on our channel are mm. people who enjoy Beartooth, and they want to see us share our thoughts on a first-time listen slash reaction to a video song from the band Beartooth. We did enjoy their last song, and that's probably okay. why History King, who gave us this Patreon request, oh, has given us yeah. another one okay. from them because he's okay. like hey you guys liked it so i'm going to give you more mm. he didn't give us any notes of his own he just gave us the artist notes on the song so mm. this is from mr Beartooth. he said mm. this is the first song i wrote for the album i wrote it a week after i quit drinking and realized mm. that i wanted to do something different with this record i think this is the guy that was in a different kind of band that was a little more of a heavier type band i think then he started this as a side project but the side project became the project i think this is the guy anyways i could be wrong let us know in the comments if i'm wrong riptide is really the mission statement of this whole album and hopefully every album to come so he's taking mm. his sobriety very seriously or the change in his life very seriously wow good for you mr bear tooth sounds Folks, good they do let's check it let's out for do, sure, let's yeah. do it <laughs> Explain my pain 
So this was the guy I, I remember now because he, he was in another band. I forget what it was called, like Metalcore, Deathcore, or something like that, where he mm, does that growl mm, voice singing. Mm, and mm-hmm. this was his side project. He did the same in this song as he did in the other song. It's a little bit of like, hey, remember I was in that other band that was a little bit rougher, maybe a little bit tougher for people to listen to. But now he's doing this mm-hmm. other project, which he seems to be on full board now, mm-hmm. where he's incorporating, of course, the clean vocal, just the hint of that screamo metal mm-hmm. voice mm-hmm. where it's still you can still hear what he's saying so it's not quite growling it's just more of a screamo i think it's called or something like that which i love yeah. so mm-hmm. this song corporate it's crazy because it's it's a funny what oh well it's funny what instruments do because if you took away maybe a bit of the screamo and took away the heavy guitar it's a it's kind of a bop of a pop song so he kind right. of incorporates of <laughs> you know this pop element of singing and clear vocals and the groove. It's a danceable song, but then mm-hmm. it's incorporated with the heavy guitar and the bridge is just like, I, I knew it was coming. I thought it was going to be like a solo, but I knew that mm-hmm. bridge would come. I was expecting something to happen in that two third mm-hmm. act that he was going to do something crazy. And he did. It was that just that heavy doom, doom, you know, and it was perfect. Mm-hmm. I really dig the melding of the two, I guess is what I'm getting at. So he's mm-hmm. incorporated a new sound probably from his older band. Some of his older stuff is still, you know, in that vocal work, and maybe songs of the album he might scream the whole way through. He probably does a couple like that, or he does a couple yeah. like full-on pop songs. But I think this song as a single is probably a way of bridging the two worlds of the new music that he's entering. Because it sounds like this is what he's going to be doing. I sorry, I keep seeing him. I don't know his name, Mister Beartooth. There, Mister Beartooth. That's his Mister Mr. Beartooth. So I really dug it. At the end of the day, this was a great song, great track. Very, I mean. I'm not bored at all. I'm listening to this. I'm having fun. Great visual effects. And it's kind of funny what he's wearing. I don't know. I don't know if he's trying to be silly or not, which is weird, which is fine because his outfit, right. you know, he's got the open shirt with the, with the six pack. Well, hey, man, if I had a six pack, maybe I'd wear my shirt open too. I don't. But good for him. Hey, you know, you stop drinking. That helps too. So good for him. Mm. Um, my favorite thing about that song is the bass. It's so chunky. It's just like... Well, in the metal side of it, it's a lot heavier, but it's still, even in the the pop-sounding side that you were referring to, it has a really like heavy, recognizable sound. So I I really like that sound. I thought it was hilarious that his band suddenly turned into interpretive dancers. (laughs) Well, there were girls, weren't there? That was girls. No, right? it wasn't Dancing? the band. It was, yeah, it was okay. girls. It was just kind of funny. Oh, okay. I, for, I had to do like a double, like, what? oh, okay, it's girls dancing. Um, I was going to say, uh, <clears> or <throat> my eyes are deceived. They look very female to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. It was a weird play up on this metal core or hardcore like metal mixed with this. Yeah. I want to go back and, and almost read the lyrics to see if there's a mm. reason for that. Like why, what that means lyrically, if it has anything to do with the lyrics or if it's just kind of a you know, design element for the video that they, they threw in there. I suspect it's the latter. I don't know if, if the video had much to do with interpretive dancers. Overall, I did like it. I think I, I'm easier sold on this, on that kind of screamo when it's, it's kind of in chunks and it's not, okay, I've heard that sound now for a full two and a half minutes straight. I would like to hear something else. I've heard that kind of metal before and I'm kind of like, okay, that's somebody else's taste. But when it's just short, and I can hear that that screaming part when it comes in and, and kind of enjoy it for the moment. I like that it moves on. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, History King. Love it. He always gives mm. us very interesting stuff, which is great. We love that, History King. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Um, and if you want to request a song that you think we should listen to and you think we'd enjoy it, then send it our way and we'll give it a listen. We'll see you in the next one.